What's up, you guys? Ethers Mystical Child here, coming to you with a collective general reading. And normally I don't do general readings. I do pick a cards, but I was called to do a general reading just to see what's going on. This full moon energy. It's a full moon and Aries energy, and it's a harvest moon. So it's a lot of closures going on, a lot of appreciating happening. This is what the eclipse too. So. We're going to pull on energy, see what's going on. So shout out to my subscribers. You know, oh, what's popping? Hope all is well. And hopefully this reading is useful to you when you see it. And take what apply and leave the rest. I pulled four doors. So I'm going to give you the messages off the doors. And then I already pulled oracles and then we'll go from there. So it's one door. Door number two. Door number three. Door number four. These doors can go together. The messages could go together. Or it could just be like spliced out for individuals who pick the door. So we'll see. First message, it says, Jude's song. A reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases can find peace within the, strong, within the strangest places. So Jude's song is like a prayer. If you're spiritual or if you're religious, you would know who Jude is. Um, so, yeah. The universe want to remind you, your guides, whoever you believe in, want to remind you that even if you're feeling hopeless, you can find yourself. And you can find yourself within stranger, strangest places. And strangest places could be like meeting people. So, strange places, strange people, people you don't know places you've never been before some of you guys need to start visiting places you've never been before go to the lo like local parks or just start going places you haven't seen before i'm big on like being that the season is changing in the states there's harvesting season going on aka the harvest moon so there's like pumpkin picking apple picking the foliage is changing so some of you should go, like, prime example, you see how the foliage is changing? It'd be good for you to get out in nature and go different places. Stop going to the same places. Yeah, so with this door, if you pick this door, it says, trust the universe. Intuition has wandered and led you astray. The timing's not yours, but the universe is at play. So right now, some of you guys would... would let me see. Things probably couldn't be going well for you right now. Whatever you want to happen is not happening. The reason why it's not happening, because again, the universe is always at play. What we want, we don't always get. The universe knows what's best for us. You have to start using your intuition. It's like you let your intuition get away from you. You don't pay attention to yourself. You have to have faith in the universe and just relax. Let things happen. Let things flow. If you pick this door... It says, Divine Guardian, do not be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. So some of you are going through the unknown. Some of you are going through an awakening. Some of you are going through an ascension. And that's exactly what this full moon is. Because a lot of people are going to be eclipsed out of your life. So the universe wants you to be open to new people coming into your life. New people, people that you don't know. Some people are closed off to people with that like no new friends mentality which is nothing wrong with that but in a way it is because it keep you stuck so the universe want to bring new people into you so it's like trust the universe trust your divine guardians trust your intuition and know that things are not all lost stop feeling hopeless for the ones who's resonating with this this is door number four it says birth another gateway appears in view New life is unfolding with blessings to you. See, like I said, you guys are going through ascension for some of you. Not all of you, because some of you are going to fight the ascension. But for the ones who's open up to this ascension, all is not lost. So just like, and we're going into a new season, fall. So again, just have trust in the divine, God, your angels, whoever you believe in. Trust yourself. If you're not going to trust anybody, trust yourself. And use your intuition when it's time to get into a situation where people come into you. New people coming into you should be open to them. Old people coming to you should have a little, like, wonder of what do they want. Because a lot of this is karma that's being eclipsed with this 
Aries full moon. So yeah. Now let's start seeing what the oracles say. Legal matters, left hanging, secret accounts, fake busy, illumination. Let's get one more. Where did I put the deck? It's right here. Just gonna pick one. It says love child. Some of you are going through legal matters, whatever legal matters this could be. It could be immigration, it could be paternity, it could be child support, criminal, it could be anything. Some of you had to take somebody to court, potentially if you had a child with them. Some of you who have children, you had a love child, you was in a relationship with this person, you found out that this person is living a double life with this secret account. They live in double life. They had a, like, could have had a child on the side. Some of you want a divorce from them. Some of them could have been um, in a relationship with you and had a baby with you and not taking care of their baby. So you're taking them to child support for that. These people could be in a community or for the streets and they just have, like, criminal things going on. It's just legal matters in general. And like I said, it's karma. Because karma have to balance these scales. It's a cause and effect. And people have to pay for what they have done with every action there's a reaction and they have to pay this comic debt so some of you guys were left were ghosted the truth you realized the truth you had an awakening things were illuminated to you that this person ghosted you some of you were left on red i'm gonna be all over the place because i'm getting a lot of downloads and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to keep up with them but you keep up with what i'm saying it may not all go in sync but some of you were left on red you found out this person was dealing with somebody or they was doing secret things some of you this person tried to ghost you come back and you left them on red but right now for most of you guys in the here and now there is no um contact with this person and you didn't give this person any closure as well or they didn't give you any closure take what apply leave the rest it could be you it could be them i could say he it could be you i could say them it could be them just take it how it goes right now you guys are going through an awakening like I said before, you are discovering yourself. Some of you are discovering this person in a toxic ways because you also have fake busy here. So some of these people act like they had things going on and they were not doing anything. They was just bullshitting time, bullshitting their life away. Somebody could be interested in pottery or very good at making pottery. Somebody could be very good in yoga, particularly, um, I forget what they call it. The yoga where they use cloths, where you tie your body up in cloths and suspend yourself, you could be interested in that. Or some of you could find yourself liking that if you get um, into that. So, let's see what's going on here. Some of you guys realize that this person be on the internet searching other females or other males. Some of these people you found out they had other secret apps like dating apps and stuff like that some of these people are secretly watching you because if you ghosted them and left them behind and the here and now and moving to the future they're secretly stalking you to see what relationships you are in if you're going to have a child some of them probably heard that you are having a child and they're stalking to see what's going on with your child this song is about people fighting against you so somebody could have been fighting against you and you had to leave their ass behind they going through criminal issues right now and i'm getting a download if that's a fact they ass going to jail okay so and it's also about people throwing um spells doing voodoo marabou so somebody could have been doing spell work on you as well and it didn't it, they were left hanging the spell work didn't work they on secret accounts trying to see if they spell work worked on you. Some of you guys know this because it's being illuminated to you. I'm illuminating this to you for some of you. What's being illuminated? What's the truth behind this illumination? What's being illuminated? It's a Scorpio involved in this. Somebody want to know why the Scorpio is still around them, why they still here. Somebody don't want to be with somebody. It said distorted feminine, karmic lover. 
So there's a, a distorted Scorpio comic feminine. Somebody don't have the balls to tell somebody that they don't want to be bothered with them. Yeah, somebody don't have the balls to tell them that they're not they not serious. That's why, like, with the fake busy, this person want to do anything and everything but spend time with you guys, with some of you guys. This person is a distorted person, though. They're very distorted. Some of them feel like being just being near you is intense and intoxicating. If they feel like being around you is intense and intoxicating, this person is not secure in their emotional body and their emotional being. They immature as well. Clarify these um, legal matters. What's going on here? What's... It says move to calmer waters with courage. A Virgo. So Virgo could be going through this or you could be the Virgo. But it says move to calmer waters with courage. Whatever this Virgo was going through, these legal matters or whatever, you don't need to be around them. This person could be a Pisces too. This person is weak. They weak-minded, they weak-spirited, spirited. They don't have any willpower. This person, hold on, let's see something. We'll keep the Virgo there and move the common waters. Clarify the secret account. What's being hidden with this secret account? What is this person? It says scared to heal himself. And I left this card here because this person is a scattered brain. This is, in my mind, this is why I have this card in here. This person doesn't make any connections. It's like they don't have any mental synapses. If you don't have any mental synapses, that means your brain don't fire properly. So this person is scattered. They skewed. This person have been through a lot of trauma, too, and they scared to heal themselves. So they just get toxic and start stalking people with fake accounts, or they start dating people on secret dating apps. This person is, oh, gosh. It says immature and lustful. Told you they were immature. And they being that they lustful, this person has like a, um, they hypersexual. That's why with this love child in the secret accounts, this person have babies all over the place potentially. But this person is a person that don't take care of their children. Or if they do, they take care of like maybe one of them or two of them. And this person is like very distorted. Uh, clarify left you hanging. I'm secretly committed. Somebody's an energy vampire. Look, I'm hiding a child and a relationship. So you guys, if I'm illuminating this to you, yeah, this is, this is, they secretly committed. So this is a person that goes on a, on a, um, go in a community, look for people, but they have somebody at home. They have a home that they already supposed to be committed to. But no, they, they, they're not. They're not really committed if they were on the streets doing this. So, yeah, some of you are finding this out now. This is why some of them never wanted to commit to you. Put this on his head. This person that they secretly committed to could have found this out and taken this person to court, left them behind, and now they stalking this person who left them behind. Again, this person is an energy vampire. I feel it. I fucking feel it. Um, hold on for a second. Okay, you guys. Let's see what's going on. We're going to get into a little tarot. Hold on for a second. Well, I use this deck. Um, what's going on? What's going on with this Virgo energy? Matter of fact, Six of Swords is telling you to move on. It's clarified itself. Move on with calmer waters. But I didn't want to use... I did want to use this deck, but I was just called to use this deck. This is pretty cool to do, like, um, general messages, even though I don't really do them, because it's more free-flowing. I don't have to, like, time the... the time the pals and I don't have to worry about you guys saying oh this pal got more time than that pal so what's going on with this Virgo why is this Virgo energy here I think this is the yeah morals 
reach out. So somebody have skewed morals. They they morality is like this person don't have any morals. If they that this immature and lustful and scared to heal himself, this person doesn't have any morals. Clarify um this um Virgo energy. This person is money hungry too. Somebody got the wrong advice. I'm too afraid to talk to you. Words hurt. I miss you. Do you? I left you because you told me. I sometimes wonder if you care. Ace of Cups. So yeah, okay. So now, 888 could be important for some of you guys. 888 is... um. Hold on. Let me see something. I was, I'm going to give you downloads what the 888 is. But let's see if they have it here. This person is very toxic, though. Some of you guys could be, like, toxic, too, but you don't let your toxicity get a hold of you to where it just, like, take your ass down. This person let their they toxicity take them down. So it says, oh, yeah, like I said, karma. I'm going to give you downloads. Karma. A lot of money is coming your way. Fortune refers to more than just monetary and material success. If you don't appreciate the people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. The message encourages you to take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential. So yeah, that message just bled through for some of you guys. And this is why this person is, I'm too afraid to talk. I left you because you told me to. I miss you. Do you miss me? So this person is like, yeah, they're very immature because somebody here have a, a flagrant mouth. They're very like, how can I say? With the Six of Swords... That came here, and it's here twice, basically. My card, and then it clarified it with this card. This person is toxic. You had to move on from this person. Some of these people tried to keep you tied in your brain, try to keep you mentally trapped, or this person had to make a decision, a heart over mind decision in case they was with you and they made a, so a baby on the side. You pressured them and told them, listen, what are you going to do if this is your story? This person wanted to keep you mentally trapped, or they wanted to stay mentally trapped. This person... It's like, I left you because you told me to. Instead of sitting down and being mature and talking to you and talk about the situation, they ran from you because you told them to run from you. And they already afraid to talk to you. And this person wants you to reach out to them. It's like they want you to chase them. It's like a running and chaser dynamic that's very toxic. And again, somebody got some wrong advice from somebody. And I sometimes wonder if you care. So some of you guys just detach from this person so so much that they didn't they starting to question if you even love them or even was into them please don't fall don't fall don't fall okay so let's see something clarify morals seven of swords this person is deceptive they grimy mr don't you know no good this person will lie still cheat they do anything that benefits them. This person is a type of person that will ghost you and leave you behind heartbroken. And then will force you to have to move on on your own. This person is not going to give you any closure. This is a person that is definitely not going to give you no closure. This person is going to move on and just pick up their, their pick up your swords. Because some of you have good energy. So they're going to grab your good old common healing energy, fly off with it. Leave you behind, trapped in your mouth, tra trapped in your mouth. Why well, I said trapped in your mouth? Trapped in your mouth, you're not going to be able to get no closure. You're not going to be able to really talk to this person because they want you to reach out. They don't want to reach out, and they're probably going to not even answer the phone if, in fact, you try to call them or text them. But this person is going to try to leave you in your mind, confused, blocked, with the two of swords energy. Yeah. So this person doesn't have any morals, like I said earlier. What card is this? This card seems like it don't belong here. Sure enough, don't. What is this? Backstab. And there's another card that don't belong here. And it's that. Return. Second chance. Opportunity. Making amends. Yeah, this person want to return to you for some of you. But no, they can't return to you because you don't close the door. Now, for some of you guys, you're going to let this person come back, potentially. Everybody have free will. But this is what's going on. This person want a second chance. So wherever they flew off to leave you, ghost you, not like give you any closure, it didn't work. So they're going to come back. But when I said the seven of swords, they're going to come back for a second chance. They're going to want to let time pass and then come back. When I said with the seven of swords, this is the seven of swords. 
Do you see her seven of swords is in her backpack, but this person is flying off with your four swords, leaving you left with these the other three swords and the other three swords is one is down. So you're not going to have no mental clarity. You're not going to have any like um, any opportunity for anything new to come in. Why? This ace of cups going to be blocked because you're going to be too stuck in your head, too trapped in your head behind this person backstabbing you. This person likes to cheat on you. They're very deceptive. They like to play mind games. They want to love bomb you. Clarify this wrong advice. What What is this wrong advice? What is the secret? It, the wrong advice had to do with a lover's... Oh, more than one card came out. Somebody got wrong advice when it came to making choices when it came to you. Having a love with you. A king of cups and the lovers. Yeah, this person was very manipulative. They was guided... They was guided to ghost you for some of you guys. They was guided to play mind games with you. They were guided to love bomb you. Let's see. I feel like being the investigator that I am. Hold on. Let's see something. Oop. No. Wrong deck. Look. Virgo at the bottom again. Strong Virgo here. Clarify this wrong advice. What wrong, who gave this person this wrong advice? A cancer. Somebody's father. Could have been a mother. Could have been somebody's neighbor. Or one of their homies. Look, that's still a big homie. And I said that all for the neighbors. Yeah, so they toxic ass friend group. Whether it's a friend group, they family, a cancer. Yeah, they led this person astray. Says your business partner. It could have been their business partner. A friend could have been a business partner or have a business. Yeah, he led his ass astray or her ass astray. And now this person is heartbroken. For some of them, not all of them are heartbroken. Clarify this. Um, no, hold on. You hear the song that says touch and let go? So this was just a sexual thing. This person was guided to just have sex with you and leave because this person was committed. In the song, this person is committed. They have somebody already. Clarify this lovers and this king of cups. It says, my mother made me codependent when it comes to relationships. So this person grew up very toxic and in abusive relationships. The streets raised me, so their mother was not around for them. And when their mother was around for them, they taught them to do fuck shit. They taught them to, to hurt other females. So you know this is a distorted mother. If they raising a child to hurt other females or other men, they distorted as fuck because the father came out. So if the father raised them like this, karmic, narcissist. If the mother raised them like this, she distorted, she's hurt, she's wounded, she never healed herself. She's doing what people have done to her and they ch teaching their children to do this. This is some love that I've never seen before. That ain't, that's not love. It says life is a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So I roll with the punches. This person grew up very toxic. This person grew up to fly at the seat of their pants. This person grew up to be very flighty. This person grew up to be very immature and lustful. Some of them sell sex. And they, again, their mother never healed themselves. So they never seen what healing looks like. They mother could have had a side chick. Oh, a side chick. They mama, somebody mother could be secretly liking women. But I want to say they mother could have had a baby on the side by a man as a jacket. And yeah, this is just wild. It says love is not supposed to hurt. I don't know who showed you differently. So you guys popped up in a reading. The one that this has happened to. You let them know that this shit is not cool. This is immature. Like you need to get your life. Like. This shit is, like, this is wild. You know what's so funny to me? When people are immature like this, they love to walk around like they like some big dick energy. Like they have everything going for themselves. They don't even realize that they look stupid. If people were to film them and show them how they look on out, they probably would be fucking devastated. But some of them know because they narcissists. So they would be caught up in a delusional world and they force reality thinking that this is cool and they look cool. No, you look dumb. Especially if you older than 30 doing this. You look dumb. This is crazy. I wish I could take my words back. Immaturity. Talk without even having any, any, what would I say? 
what word would I like to use? Any, this person don't put on a thinking cap. This person is just impulsive and they just talk. They talk without thinking. And this person is like a silver tongued devil. They immature, they gossip a lot. If this is a male, very feminine. Very feminine male, stuck in a feminine energy. And cancer is a feminine energy. So if this is a cancer male, very feminine. Very toxic and feminine. Now, if you're a cancer male, not all cancer males are feminine. They're going to be feminine because it's a water sign, but they're going to be balancing a masculinity. So they're going to show up as a masculine. And another thing about this cancer, cancers are known, just born. Cancers and Capricorns are born with mother and father issues. They, they wound it, like... So, yeah, this person is not healing themselves. It's sad. It says, this is so intense, I can't comprehend my feelings or my thoughts for you. So, again, they immature. You are not immature, or if you are a little immature, have insecurities, you're more mature than this person, because this person is very, very immature, extremely. I didn't plan on meeting you, let alone falling for you. So, they're out there being immature and lustful. They have somebody at home. They didn't plan on meeting you, let, fall, let alone fall in love with you. But then they're going to ghost you. Because this person is a person that has that um, that avoidance. Somebody's avoidant here. Somebody is avoiding and somebody could be an anxious. Um, they have this love style. This is how the trauma has affected them. Okay, so where else I'm going to go with this? I'm going to have to get a good title for this reading. This is the only thing I don't like about doing general readings. i got to make up a title. Pick a cards is easy for me to do um, titles for pick a cards. Um, hold on for a second. I'm trying to see how I'm going to pivot. use this deck. Clarify this King of Cups and this Lovers. This Lovers card, you were their soulmate too. You were supposed to be with them. Somebody uh, messed up a, a good relationship for this person because they were fucking controlling. They use control tactics. They're very domineering. They're very dominant. They like to self-sabotage too. This person is a person that gets involved in criminal activity because this is like the Five of Swords. So with the Five of Swords, Six of Swords, and Seven of Swords, somebody could be strong Aquarius. If they're not Aquarius, they have it in a Mars. They have it in their Venus. They can have it in their 10th house, their 12th house. It's different places this person can have this Aquarius energy. But yeah, this person is a person that, like, they have mood swings too. They, they're not emotionally balanced. There's a lot of emotional problems this person could have this aquarius energy in their fourth house this is how they grow their family was toxic detached not loving unemotional this person as well have trust issues they like to bring conflict to their relationships as well and this is a pattern they just constantly bring this to their relationships because they they are not healing themselves so this person wanted to have control over this relationship they want to control you they want to have control and being that their friend clarified this this is where they got this wrong advice from. Their friend, their family, somebody told them to do this. Try to control you. Try to control the lover's energy. A lover's energy is an energy that just going to work no matter what. If this person would have took their insecurities off the table and took this control tactics off the table, this relationship would have really worked. You guys could have been like power couple. But this person like comics. They delusional. They in a false reality. Clarify this king of cups. Nurturing and compassionate. This is you guys. And this is why I didn't want to um, jump out the window and say what I was going to say earlier. Because I felt that this was you guys' energy. Yeah, they left you They left you hanging. Somebody that's nurturing. Somebody's compassionate. This person has never been loved by their mother in a healthy way. So they scared of your love. They scared of love. They felt that you would... Keep them tied and bound. This is a person who like their freedom. If somebody here is a Sagittarius, they like their freedom. If they're earth sign or air sign prominent or have a strong innate chart, yeah, this is why. Temp distance, retreat, time out. Somebody was told to create distance. To create problems for no reason. Clarify this distorted mother or this distorted father. Disharmony triggers and conflict. Some of them 
their mother is a narcissist and they have a a a a, a, a warp, warp type of re, uh, relationship with their mother like they probably this is an energy that will praise their mother look at their mother like a queen but this mother is a person that brings disharmony a person that brings triggers and conflicts into their relationships Somebody's um, family have too much control and too much say so in a relationship. And I'm going to say this. If somebody's parents or friends or whoever this was can deter this person from being with you, it's sad. Because I'm sure when it comes to having sex, they don't drag these people with them to the bedroom to have sex. But they give them so much control and so much power over their life that they made them lose a very great thing. Clarify streets raise me. Look, fate, divine intervention. Your God said, no, the fuck you won't. You're going to get out of here. You're not going to abuse mine. This was broken up. Divine intervention. Detour. You're going to be on a different timeline. You realize this karmic cycle, and your gatekeepers help you realize it, and you jumped off of it. Some of you, look, the bottom, higher self-activation. Your God's jumped into this. You matured, you had an awakening, and you shifted timelines. Thanks to the divine, God, your gatekeepers, your ancestors, whoever you believe in. Yeah, they said, we're not doing this. We're not going to have a queen of cups over here looking crazy. No, we're not doing that. Mm -mm. You know what's so funny I'm getting for some of you guys? Some of you guys... Like I was saying earlier, could have been toxic, but you don't let your toxicity take advantage of you or get the better of you. Some of you knew what was going on. You played along with this. And then at the last minute, that's your ass, Mr. Postman. You dropped a towel on this person. Um, hold on. Last messages. Clarify this disharmony and trigger. Vicious cycle, patterns of relationships, issues, bad habit, no one situation. Told you this person's karmic. They like to keep people on a karmic cycle. Vicious cycle with this person. They keep their feelings bottled up. They too immature to express their feelings. They too scared to let their feelings go. Why? Because this is what their mother did. Somebody could be immature, of course, but a late bloomer. Some of you could have had a large age group, a um, age gap between this person. On the bottom, childish. Some of you had to be the, the adult, like I said earlier. Some of you had to be the adult and leave this person behind. Move on. Move the hell on with the six of wands. and the, I mean, six of swords. Six of swords is normally your guides, your gatekeepers helping you move on. Where is that six of swords at? This reading is over, basically. So if you've got something from it, like, you know, subscribe. Hold on. Somebody here could be a Pisces. But what I was saying with the two of swords... You made a, a decision to move on from this person. You unblocked yourself. Till next time in Tarotland.